Hey guys and welcome to my Fire Emblem playthrough. This will be the first episode and um, yeah, Fire Emblem 8 is a game that I adore. I'll leave the intro to play and then talk about uh, talk more about it in a second. There it is, the Sacred Stones. Possibly one of my favourite games of all time. Definitely my favourite of the series. It was, it was my, uh, it was my first one. I've got to erase some data because of two failed recordings. Uh, so yeah, this game. I don't know what it is about it. It's, it's just, just a perfect game in my eyes. In an age long past, evil flooded the land. Creatures awash in the dark tide ran wild, pushing mankind to the brink of annihilation. In its despair, mankind appealed to the heavens, and from a blinding light came hope. The Sacred Stones These five glorious treasures held the power to dispel evil. The hero Grado and his warriors used the sacred stones to combat evil's darkness. They defeated the demon king and sealed his soul away within the stones. With the darkness imprisoned, peace returned to Magvel. Magvel, Magvel, same thing. But this peace would not last. Of course not. Never does, does it? Here's Magvel. The continent of Magvel. For some 800 years, a quiet peace reigned in the absence of the terrible darkness. The sacred stones have been passed from generation to generation. Nations have been built around their power and legacy. The kingdom of Rene, ruled by Fado, the peerless warrior king. He's a great guy. Look at his beard. The kingdom of Freelia, ruled by Hayden, the venerable sage king. The Kingdom of Jehanna, ruled by Ismer, Queen of the White Dunes. The Theocracy of Rawston, ruled by Mansell, the Divine Emperor. And finally, the Grado Empire, ruled by Vigard, the stalwart and silent Emperor. These five countries house the power of the Sacred Stones. They are joined by the emerging mercantile republic of Carcino, but nobody gives a damn about them. In these times of peace, tales of the past conflict have drifted into legend, and memories of the ancient dark arts have all but evaporated, aside from dark magic wielders, who for some reason know a lot about the dark arts, and manipulate them to do damage. But they sort of gloss over that. It is now the year 803. In an instant, the whole of Magvel is threatened by an unexpected atrocity. The Grado Empire, the largest of the Sacred Stone nations, has invaded the Kingdom of Rene under orders of Emperor Vigard. Would you look at that? Another Emperor suddenly turning on his allies to <laughs> to, to start a war. It's pretty much the, the ex every setting in Fire Emblem games is like this. It's just, you know, it's just how it goes. A long-time ally of Grado, Rene is caught off guard, unable to mount any resistance. Grado's forces move quickly, seizing one territory after another. Compounding King Fado's worries, his son, Prince Ephraim, has gone missing. Grado's momentum carries its armies to the gates of Castle Rene itself. 
Rene will fall. It is inevitable. I love the animation style of this game as well. It's so simplistic but so beautiful at the same time. Your Majesty, I bear bad news. The castle gate has been breached. Emperor Vigar's forces are within the castle walls. I understand. The garrison has fallen. We've lost contact with Prince Ephraim, and we can't expect no we can't expect no aid from his men. Your Majesty, what are we to do? What else can we do? Order your men to lay down their arms. Father Erica, are you wearing the bracelet I gave you? Yes, I have it right here. Good. Seth? Yes, Your Majesty? Take Erica and head to Freelia. King Hayden is an honourable man. I trust he will keep you safe. Understood. And what of your majesty? Me? I shall remain here. I have long held Grado among our allies, yet now they attack. I must know why. Good on you, man. Am I somehow responsible for this? Have I erred in my leadership? Rene is mine to guide. How could I have failed her so? Father, you can't stay. You mustn't. If you remain behind, then so shall I. Go now, Seth. Ride. Take her to safety. Father! Forgive me, your highness. Wow. There's the dark mages I was referring to. And a whole lot of big enemies. Ephraim, Erica, you must survive. Oh, they will. Because if not, it's game over. That's the mechanic of the game. <laughs> General Seth. Seth, sorry. France, ride ahead and bring of our, our bring word of our coming to Freelia. A single rider has better odds of passing unseen by Grado's men. Convey to the throne all that has happened here and petition for reinforcements. Uh, understood. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna do race car sounds every time they ride off. It's just a thing that I do. Princess Erica, we must quickly behind me. Oh, what's happening here? It's creepy McCreeperson. You're there with the girl. Tell me, would that be the wayward princess of Rene? Well, this must be my lucky day. You're a dead man. The wench goes with me. Never. That's right, Seth. I am Volta the Moonstone, Grado's finest general. And you're just a corpse who does not know he is dead. Seth, you should have equipped a lance before fighting. Uh, no. Wow. Such terrible wounds and he holds up to his duty? How entertaining. Fly away, little man. Fly away. Try to outrun death. More time to savor the hunt and the kill. He's on a dragon. He should have just chased him down. Feasible. Definitely feasible. Princess Erica, this way. I can see no more of Grado's men. If we made it this far, we've surely earned a moment's rest. Please forgive me for wearing you so brusquely earlier. Come on, Seth, she's a princess. How dare you? Don't be so foolish, Seth. If it weren't for you, I would never have made it out of the castle. You are the reason I'm still alive. You have my gratitude. And whoever that man was, he was clearly after me. It's your fault. It's my fault that you received such a grave wound. Yeah, it's your fault, Seth. <laughs> I just read it like that. I don't know why. Allow me to treat it. I... Your Highness, I can't allow an injury like this to be an obstacle. We have more important matters to attend to. You must press on to Freelia. That's right. We must fulfill His Majesty's wishes. I wonder how my father fares alone in the castle. Do you think he's safe? And what of my brother on the Grado front? We've heard nothing for him from him for days. King Fado and Prince Ephraim are both valiant and brave men. I doubt even the might of Grado of the Grado Empire can hold them in check. More important to me, Your Highness, is that you look to your own safety. How sad the two of them would be if something were to happen to you. We must reach Frulia to ensure the day of your happy reunion. Yes, of course, you're right. Since I'm reunited with my father and brother, I must not despair. That's right, that's the attitude. That's what we want. Come, Seth, let us go. Once we cross that bridge, we'll be in Freelia, near Bord de Mulan. Not to be confused with the Disney princess. Let us proceed, Princess Erica. 
Your Highness, I won't lie to you, this will not be an easy ride. Please take this rapier, if something should happen to me. Y you must continue on to Freelia, alone if need be. Good, that's a good sword, I'll take it. Music change? <laughs> you there, Rene Dogs! Where do you think you're going? Grado's men. Stand back, Princess Erica. It's alright, Seth. My brother has taught me something of swordplay. I will stand with you. So, we'll t just take a quick second to introduce the units. Here's Erica, she's a lord of course, because she's a princess. In every game, you start off with a lord, in this one you have two. Uh, example, in Fire Emblem 7 you have three. I think you only have two in six, if I remember right. But these are the characters that are important to the story. Uh, mo more often than not, you have to have them in your party. Which isn't a bad thing, because they're often decent units. Uh, and here we have Erica, who, as I said, was the princess. If you look at her stats, they're not particularly good, aside from her speed and skill, which is a very good starting stat speed, because it allows you to double and avoid attacks, which is always very useful. And she's all around a decent unit, she just lacks in power and defense. And then we have Seth, who's a paladin, which is a pre-promoted unit. Uh, basically, in this game, you get to level 20, cap out, and then you can evolve up, or promote in this game. And uh, Seth has already basically gone through those 20 initial levels and, and evolved up. You only have to get to level 10, but it's better to get to level 20 to get all the stat boots possible. Uh, his stats, of course, are a lot better than Erica's, but that's because he's a lot, he's a promoted unit, and he's, you know, gone through the previous set as well. The problem is his growths, as in his stats getting better, aren't particularly good. And uh, compared to some of the other promoted units, or units that you promote, his stats leave a lot to be desired. And he absorbs HP, like, uh, XP sorry, like a sponge. Erica, for uh, just a hit on somebody, will get 10 XP. He will get 2, I think it is, just for killing them. So the trade-out on XP isn't great, which is why I'm not going to use him unless I have to, for defensive reasons. So we're just going to let them come to me to avoid taking unnecessary damage and healing up if we need to. Now I want to see if everything is scripted here, because twice in a row the same thing happened to me. And I want to find out if if it's all the same. So I'll just blaze through this. It's the tutorial level, so you're pretty much at no risk. Oh no, it is different. I didn't crit before. So it's not scripted. That's good to know. It just means that I got really bad luck last time twice in a row. <laughs> there it is. Okay, yeah. That's what happened to me before as well. Right. In this game you have healers and or healing items to recover your HP. I will be using one next turn. I got a crit on that hit the previous two recordings as well. Which is interesting. So my my RNG is looking alright in this, it seems. What was that? You think you can take me, wretched lordling? Come, it's time you high and mighty knights learn to respect a true warrior. True warrior? Who do you think you are? You put a shell of a man. There you go, that's a healing item. It's basically like a potion in Pokemon or in Final Fantasy if you played that too. Uh, it just recovers 10 HP, which is very useful, in especially this chapter. You will be the first to die! Or will I? <laughs> You can only heal when it's your turn, which is why I'm not attacking, because if I attack and get hit, he has a chance to hit me again, and that will kill me, which which is game over, which would mean I'd have to start again, which is frustrating. But uh, yeah, I should, I should be able to blaze through this, no problem. It is scripted, I think. That's three times I've only had skill, so that's frustrating. I would have liked to have seen a different level up, but hey. Here we go to end the chapter, killing O'Neill, the sort of captain of this group. What? How? And down he goes. If that was Seth, I believe he'd only get 20 experience instead of the 80 that you get for Erica, if I remember right. I, I'm not sure what the exact maths are, but... Princess, are you injured? What? Oh, no. I'm fine, Seth. But you look so pale. I'm fine. Fine. This is war, isn't it? It's not like all the games I used to play with my brother or Leon. I never thought... I didn't know it would be this... savage. Are words useless? Is strength all that matters? It's so sad. Why would the Greater Empire do this? 
to what end would they start a war? These are good questions, and you will you'll learn the answer to these in due time, both Erica and viewers at home. Princess, don't worry, Seth. I won't give in to sorrow. Let's get moving. I'm not broken, and I won't stop until I see Renee restored. That's right. You go, go. I won't stop until I'm reunited with my father and brother. That's the attitude we want to see, and that, I'm afraid, is going to be the end of this episode. Hopefully I don't have to re-record this because of some sound problems or just uh, random issues with the recording. Hopefully this will all be fine and it'll be a good, nice, clean playthrough. We'll get through this, we'll, we'll run through this. Um, I'll do the next chapter, chapter in the next episode. Um, I'll be recording one more today, I think, and then, that I'll, uh, then uh, I'll have to space it out. Because uh, next week I've got uni, as I did this week. It's just that this weekend I didn't have much work to do at home, so uh, so I had time to sit down and record, and I'm making the most of it. Hopefully next Saturday will be the same, and I'll be able to uh, record some more. But, uh, uh, you know, don't, don't particularly expect to see constant, regular content from this channel because of my ulterior, um, you know, my uh, just my general life being busy. So on that note, thanks for watching. Uh, i see you in the next one. Bye-bye.